Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I show you how to prevent domain users from saving specific files on shared folders. This feature is very important to protect shared folders from viruses and hackers. But, what does it mean to prevent specific file types from being saved in shared folders? For example, if you create and share a shared folder on the network, for example, this shared folder. This folder is shared by all domain users. Indeed, any user can move or paste any file to this folder, no matter what type of file it is. For example, this is a Word file. You can save it to the shared folder. This is also a video file that you can save and share on shared folder over the network. Also, exe files can be shared on the shared folder. And this is another file as an image. I mean that the user can save all kinds of files on the shared folder. But you, as an administrator, can specify the types of files that will be saved in the folders shared across the network by the server. That is, you can only share Word and Excel files, or just image files, or any file type you want, and prevent another file type. To do this, I will open my server that runs on Windows Server 2019 to explain how to control the type of files you save on the shared folder, and open Server Manager through dashboard. Click on Add Roles and Features, where we will install a tool called File Server Resource Manager. And click the Next, Next, Next. And at the step of adding server roles, expand file and storage services. And then expand file and ISXI services. And select File Server Resource Manager tool. Then Click on Add This Feature button, and click Next, and finally click on Install button, and wait for installation process to finish, for this feature. After adding the feature successfully, click on Close button. After that, from Server Manager page, click on Tools menu, and from the menu, click on File Server Resource Manager. And after opening this tool, I will explain a specific part of this tool, not all of it. And it is the part for determining type of files that will be saved on the shared folders. As for the tool, I will explain it later in detail. And to specify type of files that the user is allowed to save, I will explain the part called File Screening Management. Expand it. And under File Screening Management, you will find File Screen, File Screen Template, and File Group. And when you click on the file group, you will find on the other side, more than one group. For example a group of audio and video files. And when opening group audio and video files, you will find that it includes all the extensions for audio files, as well as video files. All these extensions to play audio and video files. And it allows you to add a specific extension. And that in the absence of it in this group. And you can add exceptions to these extensions. And each group includes its own file extensions, whether backup files or compressed files. You can also create a new group. Right click and from the menu, click on create a file group. Type the name of the group as you want. Below, add the extensions you want. I will add the exe extension for example, jpg, and click the ok button and you will find the group available for use like other groups available. Now that we know what a file group is, we will move on to another part, which is the file screen template. And when you click on, file screen template, on the other side, you will find a set of templates. And when you click on any template from it, you will find that you can add a file group to this template. There are two options. Active screen to prevent users from saving any type of file specified in the list and passive screen to allow users to save selector to the list. And in the list you can choose file group you want, select them all, or choose the one you want. And the most important part, is how to add all of that, to the shared folder. Click on file screen. Then, from the other side, right click, and from the menu, click on create file screen. Then, in the create file screen window, type the path of the shared folder. Or, 
click on the browse button and go to the location of the shared folder and add this path. Then select template you want for this shared folder and click create button. Whatever template you selected, you can modify it or add the shared folder to more than one template. I will now show you how to do that. After adding the shared folder, double click it to open it and you will find that it is specified on the template to prevent the user from saving audio and video files. Now I will go to the client's computer to make sure that this feature works. Remove anything from the shared folder and then save the video file to the shared folder. It really works. You need permission to save this type of file. Try saving the word file. It is saved to the shared folder. Save application. Have been saved. Remove everything on the shared folder. Now I'm going to the server again to try something else. Open the file screen. For example, you want to prevent office files from being saved. Select office files from the list and click OK and I will now try it on the client's computers. When Excel file is already saved, it does not save it. And also the Word file, so all Office files will not be saved. But other files such as EXE and image files are saved. You can now return to the server and choose what suits you from the list and which screen template will be selected. Users will be prevented from saving extensions for this group. I think the method has become easier for you now. You can add shared folder, and you can add extensions that are forbidden to be saved. If you have more than one shared folder, you can add them all, and make settings for each folder. The last thing I will try with you, I will specify all the extensions by selecting each templates, and I will leave only office files, and email files, and I will move to the client and find that any file is forbidden to be saved on the shared folder except for office files such as Excel and Word. But any other variety of files cannot be saved in this shared folder. I think that's all you need now to know how to prevent specific file types from being saved to shared folders. This method will work with previous versions of Windows Server as well as the latest version 2022. And you, as an administrator, can apply it to all shared folders on the network. As for the File Server Resource Manager tool, here there are many features that I will explain in detail later, in another video. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.